Isn't that an absolutely wizard little Art Deco speaker I've made to listen to my favourite 1930s and 1940s dance band sounds? I built it from odds and ends, cardboard and sticky back plastic. The first thing I needed was this old television set from my attic. I took off the back and removed the speaker. There it is there. Next I had to solder that onto a piece of uh, wire with a 3.5mm jack at the end. Now it was a perfectly straightforward job to use cardboard from some old boxes cut up using a ruler for straight edges and a CD case there for right angles. I needed a bottom, three sides and the top. There's the bottom. There's some cardboard strengthening in the middle, held on with lots of glue. The side, the back, the other side. And there's a speaker stuck in the middle. Now I need stiffer, smoother cardboard and the sticky back plastic to build up the outer shell of the speaker. First of all, those are the two sides before the sticky back plastic and then after. I need to do the same with the top and the bottom. Sticky back plastic there and there. Now for the front, I need a space for the music to come out. And I also have to cut an Art Deco style sunrise effect for the front as well. A little bit of canvas added to the front and then the sunrise effect. Some weight to hold the glue in place. A little bit more weight, a little bit more, more, that should do. And there is the final result. Now it's a simple matter of gluing together the sides and the front and the top to make an absolutely top hole looking Art Deco 1940s style speaker. It's all very well looking at it. Let's listen to it. Take it away, my very good friend Mr Henry Hall and my very good friends, his orchestra. With a million miles above, everyone 